Hey guys, it's Kaylee. Today I'm gonna be doing 20 wa water marble tips. I don't have any like water marble on my nails right now. There's nothing on them right now. Uh, but if you wanna see some of the ones that I've done before, then you can go to my nail art um, account on Instagram. And that'll be somewhere around here on this video. Or you can go to my normal account, which will be in here somewhere too. And you can also go follow me on Twitter. Also, if you want to know how I did my hair today, which I freaking love it right now. I don't know how any of this happened. It just did, but it took me like two minutes. And it did a, something a little different, and I can show you in a whole nother video if you want to, along with my curling routine, if that's what you like. So just comment down below if you want to see that. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on with this bed back here. My bed's not even made. That's just my room right now. To number one, and I'm going to start like from the beginning of water marble process and then I'm just gonna keep going and I'll give you 20 tips that I think are useful. The first thing that I'm gonna be discussing, what you should think of when you first think of water marble is the water and its temperature and everything like that. The thing I have down is water. Number one, it needs to be room temperature. It's not, if it's too hot, then it won't work. If it's too cold, it won't work. And then number two, I use I always use bottled water, like I don't use my tap water, first of all, because I have well water, that's where I get my water from, and it sucks. I don't know how normal tap water would work. I've also decided for number three that you need to fill up the cup you're using at about five, six. I know that's like really specific, but if you have a cup that is this tall, okay? You just want about that much water in it, and I figured it out maybe about five six of eat every cup. So hopefully that ratio works for you, but just about, you could probably like see how much you need in the cup. And the next step I guess you could think of for water marble would be the materials you need to get ready before you even start. Materials that you will definitely need are some cotton swabs to get all of the excess polish off of the top of the water. I don't use toothpicks for that because it just takes too long, but you will need toothpicks to drag the polish around. You also need to keep tape close or plan ahead and just put it on your fingers before you even start. Also keep a trash can close. Okay, so let's talk about base coats here for a second. You need like a clear base coat, just like you were doing a normal manicure, and then you also need either a white base coat or a, a base coat of the lightest color you're using. So I have like a little example here. Say you're using this color and this color in water marble. Preferably use this orange color because it's lighter than the blue. Swag. If you had a yellow and a purple, then you would use, use the yellow as a base coat because if you use the purple, then you're gonna be able to see the purple through the yellow when you guys know what I mean, just use the lightest color. Okay, let's move on to like the actual polish that you're going to be using because there is a difference. Obviously, some polishes don't work on water marble and some do. So what I have found out that works better, I guess, thin polishes work better. I, I really don't have like really thick polishes that I've tried because I'm pretty sure they're not going to work. So I just use thin polishes and I stick with that. Another tip is to do a little trial and error. I feel like that makes you less mad because you're not actually going to try to do anything. Trying things and if they don't work it's fine. Next is use polishes people say or that you know will work. I'm talking about brands that you know will work like OPI, Avon, Revlon, Dina Glaze, Essie. Essie somewhat works. Ali Hansen, which some of theirs work, like they have so many bottles, shapes, different bottle shapes, it depends, I feel like, what the formula is. So it just kind of depends with them and there's so many more that work. And then there's so many more that don't work, you just have to, like I said, trial and error. Okay, let's move on to starting. You should be dropping the polish in at about one fourth of an inch or a half an inch away from the water. If you have it too high, a drop of polish will just sink down to the bottom in like a bubble. If it's too low, really hard for the polish to move off the brush into the water because it's all just kind of there. When you're starting water marble, you probably need to work a little quickly. Not like go crazy, just be on task and know what you're doing. When you're dragging the water marble with the toothpick, don't 
stick the toothpick down too far. The polish will break in half. Barely drag it with a toothpick. And when you start to drag, like you put your last ring in, start like a couple of rows or rings in when you start to drag because if you start from the very outside, that ring is probably already dry. Okay. Afterwards, or the cleanup, maybe is what you want to call it, you need to put your quick dry top coat on your nails before you clean up with acetone. Even if you have a base coat, like a white polish under the water marble, the water marble will come off really easily. Don't clean up any of your mess. You should have had a trash can next to you, but and then all your trash is in there, but you're still going to have a cup of water sitting there. It's going to be some toothpicks. I usually just keep it there until I know for sure my nails are dry and then I um, go back and clean it up. And then here are just some other, these are either before or after the process of water marble, but I'm on number 17, which is you need to prep your nails before, which is what you do uh, before a normal manicure. Put on a base coat, like a clear base coat, like I said before. File, clip your nails, moisturize your hands. There's products that you can also use other than tape, like Simply Peel, liquid latex, liquid palisade, things like that. But if you're allergic to latex, obviously you can't use any of those. Just stick with the tape if you're allergic to it. When you're doing water marble, I would not use a peel-off base coat. Maybe if you're just doing a trial and error thing, you could. If you use a peel-off base coat and then you actually have a good water marble, you're gonna regret it. It's just gonna come off sooner or later. And finally, my last tip is to be patient and keep trying. If you keep trying, it took me forever to kind of master, I'm not a master of water marble by any means, but I know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. I've just practiced so many times. Just keep trying and follow these tips that I've given you. Comment if you want me to do the process of water marble. I will definitely do water marble videos where I'm showing it on my nails. I think that's it for this video. So like, subscribe, comment what you guys want to see me do next. I'm going to have an Ipsy video up soon for June and probably a June's favorite video because it's the start of summer and well last month was but I just did not want to do a May favorites. May's not my month, I don't know. But June, June's got me. Comment with, if you guys want to see me um, do this hair thing in my curling routine and I will see you guys next week. Shout out to this